Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over a list of things to check to make sure your Linux system is not compromised. So first, let's do who. All right, we're in the we're in the clear because Lingamiga is the only one. We don't want to see any other users there. So if we type last again, every time it's booted up, we just have Lingamiga. So nothing fishy there. And then we can do last log. And here are usernames for the different services. And these are all normal and it says never logged in. So that means we're secure again, which is great. Um, to check our network, we can do ARP space AN. We can also do route. So nothing sitting in the middle of our network there. No man in the middle going on. We're secure again. Um, then we can list all network connections with netstat dash nap. All right, and then we can uh, list all open files that have network connection by doing lsof dash i. All right, great. So it just had mega that came up, so that's good. Uh, next, we want to be able to list users, so we can do more space slash etc slash passwd. Awesome, so more services and users here. Okay, let's get out of that window and now we can look at scheduled jobs with ls space slash etc slash cron for cron dot and then asterisk to display all of them and these are things which would run automatically every day here every hour here and every month here so um, you would see something fishy uh, in here if you know you had malware uh, automatically running like let's say every day when you're sleeping something happens it's just an example but um, so keep your eye on that file on these files rather um, next we want to check the DNS settings and the host file so we can do that by going more space slash etc slash resolve dot com Okay, nothing fishy there. And then we do for the host file, it's more slash, oops, more slash etc slash hosts. Awesome, that looks normal too. Just our IPv4 local network and then IPv6. So let's get out of that again and clear. Um, and next we want to be able to check for uh, auto starting services that's another way to find malware so system control system CTL space list dash unit dash files space then we pipe that through grep enabled double ampersand And then again, it's system CTL space dash dash user space list dash unit dash files space one time through grep, uh, or sorry, a second time through grep, and we'll look for enabled. All right, now if we run this, great. All right, it says um, which services are starting at boot. So we got all of these here. This is a very important spot to check also. All right, so next uh, we can do, we can list our processes with PS space AUX. All right. These are all the processes running right now. Um, I'll scroll to the very top just so you can see what the menu says. 
All right, you have our process ID on the left, the amount of memory used, uh, when it started, and what the name of the command is, or rather the process. So, anyway, uh, next we'll do ls of space plus l1, and this will actually select unlinked files and it will tell us what has been deleted today um, by other files. So malware oftentimes deletes traces of itself after it moves in order to better conceal its identity. Um, so you would look here and you would investigate each of these things. Well, if it looks fishy. So um, yeah, that shows how to find uh, unlinked files that are open, yet they have a deleted part. So, all right, and then finally, I'll show you the recently modified files. Let's do ls space dash lat space slash. Okay, and this will say. Um, we can actually let's go down directories and keep checking. So if we do cd, well, let's do ls uh, dash lat space slash, and now we'll, now we'll do home, home, okay, slash lego my ego. All right, and that's just the date. Um, Yeah, you want to be able to check the date to determine, uh, like today, here's today, um, what is not normal and what is normal, right? So we know what these things are, um, but if there's something that you don't recognize, um, definitely investigate it further. So anyway, that's all for today. Today's video um, showed you how to investigate your own system to uh, see if there's any unwanted behavior that's active. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my website, hackguru.tech. And finally, if you want to see a certain video, um, I'm definitely taking recommendations for stuff to post, so let me know in the comments, or you can email me. So anyway, that's all. So bye-bye, guys.